<laughs> Pretty sure I have this exact cliff of you. Sweet. Dude. It's original. We're going to have to use that on something. The original Mars blaster. What is that? Like a 20. It's like an old, it's almost like an old marching drum, but I don't think it is. Oh, the big boy in there? Yeah. Is that, a, is that an old marching drum or a yeah, concert? It's, a, it's an old concert lead. Okay. Uh, 1928. Oh. 1938. Holy smokes. Wow. It's old. Uh, yeah, I got it for a great deal. Um, I was looking for one and I actually was I was in Kansas City and I was at this place called Explorers and it's a really neat place and it was up on like a display and I was like, hey, is that for sale? And they're like, oh no, that's just for display. And I was like, I'll oh, give you 400 bucks for it. And they were like, well, we might. let me talk to the owner. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they go on eBay for like 800 Oh my so, gosh. Still. Yeah, yeah, so eventually, uh, long story short, I got it for 250 <laughs> Drum replace. They sound good nowadays, though. Yeah, and, you know, it's it's frustrating because, like, some of them do sound really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I also know engineers who do metal who, like, don't really know what they're doing. Uh-huh. But can get these recordings that make mediocre bands sound amazing because they just like you should start to try to get better at music you should like it enough that you want to be better mm -hmm. at it so like when you're 25 you should start to become better when you're 18 like if you need a little help in the studio i understand you know sure. but it's way cheaper to just because you know time is the most valuable asset right, right? like I think when they write, they shouldn't shouldn't try to write a song. Like it bothers me when people are like, "What do people want to hear?" You know yeah. what I mean? And like you try to write a song based on how you think other people will sort of disingenuous result. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree that's the best way to be. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly. um, do like I, oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I played just, a twenty-two by eighteen for the longest time, and it was. Just and they're cool. Yeah. I like the I like live the, settings, I think. Yeah, I think the 22 works really well for live. <laughs> it's hard to beat. I love the snares. Um, I've got some heads we could replace okay. um, on either kit. Well, well. I forgot how much I like that song. Uh. <laughs> well, here, it comes out. It comes out this way. It oh, comes okay. out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gordon. Oh no. Got it. You in live? Live. <laughs> Hi Dave. It's kind of fun. The creative process is fun. It is. Oh, 
has the tall mount on. Uh, a little more like swag, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't definitely have enough. Mm -mm. I like that. I think... <laughs> no, they're not the vintage, but uh, yeah, but she. But how did she? Uh, how do you pronounce that? B no, but hang on. Can we talk about the fact? Bizarre. Can we talk about the fact that this chick just? Oh, dude, knew? she's a, Oh yeah, she's a drummer. she's phenomenal. She, she played, uh, she I played, know, but how did she know that it was a minor? Maybe that's what she plays. I mean, you can, well, dude, <laughs> you can tell like certain Peisty and uh, Zildjian sounds. I'm gonna tell her that she, she like the K cuss. You can tell the difference between K's and A's.